is so weird. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? We ready. Hello, Bea Hinte. My cat just had a heart attack when I said that. One second. Okay. I think she had to pee. <laughs> Hello, Bea Gente. Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? How are you? I hope you're doing okay. I know we're still in quarantine. It's been like three weeks, four weeks or something literally crazy like that. So today I'm doing a video that is very different. We're talking about something that I'm actually personally kind of afraid of. It's a territory that I always, you know, I let other people take over because I'm scared. I mean, if we're talking about fashion, if we're talking about lifestyle, if we're talking about fitness, like girl, I got you, I'm your girl. But if it's something, anything related to makeup, I just freeze. Hi, I'm Greta. I don't really like wearing makeup that much. I'm not gonna lie. I, you know, if it's up to me most days, I won't wear anything. But sometimes my mom will like come up to me and she'll be like, Mi hija, te pareces a un zombie? ¿Por qué no te pones un poco de labial, un poco de blush, algo, por favor? You know? I just don't like the feeling of having things on my face. And I'm also the type of person that when I get out of bed, I just want to start my freaking day. But yeah, so this is gonna be very casual. Very, very casual. I. And using literally I have one bag I have one bag of makeup this is the only bag of makeup that I have I'm just gonna do my makeup with the products that I have the very few products that I have some of these are dried out some of these are really old I don't know what we're gonna find in this bag but I'm just gonna be honest and show you what I do when I don't really want to wear that much but I want to look a little you know a little alive okay so let's do this so I'm just gonna put my hair up in this clip. I am obsessed with clips. Like, I'm so happy that they're kind of becoming a thing again because I used to live in these things as a child and I still do. So I'm gonna start with, this is my favorite part of the entire routine and that's when you know you're not invited to the makeup club. Um, this moisturizer I have been using this moisturizer for years and years and years and years and years on end. I love this stuff. It is the best. I used to say that I have dry skin, but as years go by, I feel like I just have normal skin because, I mean, I have seen people who have like actual dry skin and I'm like, oh, she has dry skin. Um, and so now I'm like, maybe I don't have dry skin. I've actually never really, I've never gone to the dermatologist in my entire life. It just honestly was always very expensive and knock on whatever this is that I have never had really bad problematic skin. I'm so lucky because I have so many friends, like even my boyfriend, he really struggles with it. So I can really see how it can mess with your self-esteem. So I just put this on. All over. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do is very, 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 very important. We're gonna put on some sunscreen. I love this sunscreen. It is so amazing. This one is by Supergoop and it smells like limon. It smells so good and it literally disappears on your face. That's what, that's what blows my mind. You can't see it, like you can't detect it. It doesn't leave a white cast. It's not super oily. It's not oily at all, actually. So it's so nice. And I put this all over my face. If I do remember to do this, it always makes the last step of putting like a lipstick on or like whatever you want at the end so much easier because your lips aren't all like cracked and disgusting and crusty and nasty. So I put on this lip oil that I am so obsessed with it is disgusting right now i don't know if you can tell i kind of cleaned it up a little bit for you for this video um but this is the clarence lip oil and girl it is so good it literally looks and feels like honey on the lips it is so nice and i don't know if you can tell my lips are nasty they are so chapped and they are like broken and when i was deciding to film this video i was like okay i can start off with foundation 
I'm gonna do this and that and that. But I was like, you know what? I'm gonna be honest, as honest as I can be in this video. And I don't really wear foundation. Like I really don't. And if I do, I still wanted to talk about the one that I use, but I use this one by Clinique. If I do have to wear foundation, I love this product. It is great for people like me that you don't really like wearing foundation and you're just not really good at makeup so you want something that's going to blend super easily. This stuff is like pretty liquidy and the color match is on point. I'm CN10 Alabaster. She is a queen. She is the queen of foundations for natural looking makeup the best so yeah we are not doing that today because i'm being <laughs> as real as i can in this video um but when i do my this is not the right one <laughs> where is she she's hiding okay there she is on days when i want to look awake but i don't want to wear foundation i still put on concealer and concealer is awesome because you can really you can do so much with concealer like a little bit goes a very long way and i personally am obsessed with this one. This one is by NARS. It's the Creamy Radiant Concealer and I got this in France. I got the mini one. Isn't she so cute? I am in the shade Vanilla. That's very accurate. Um, I know people are like, do the V or do the thing. So I just put it where I need it the most, which is like kind of like the inner parts of my eye. And then I put a little bit on my forehead because this is a pretty lighter color. Um, and then I sometimes bring it down the bridge of my nose. Here. If I have any spots. Honestly, I've stopped really concealing uh, acne scars or acne spots. I have one right here. And I kind of stopped concealing them because sometimes I feel like, well, it's probably because I'm doing it wrong, but I found that concealing them kind of brings more attention to them sometimes. It makes like bacteria just like kind of go in, go into the spot and just like make it worse. So I have kind of stopped doing that. I am on the beauty blender train. I love this one. This one's really good. This one's from uh, Real Techniques. It's just their standard beauty sponge, beauty blender, and it's really good. I find it works best if you do damp it. I know there's some people that don't, and then there's people that do. And this concealer is really good because it doesn't set super, super fast. I hate ones that like set so fast that you're like, you put it on and then you're like, that was very dramatic. I also kind of bring it up to my eyelid so it can act as a primer because guess what? I also do not have a primer. I love Glossier and I love this product so freaking much. So this is their beautiful, lovely, my best friend in the whole world. This is their cloud paint. Uh, I'm sure you all own her already. So let me explain. This product not only gives you color on your cheeks as a blush, but it also works as a bronzer. It's amazing. Like it's it's a very specific color because it's almost like a brownie pink. So you can put it on your cheeks, but you can also bring it up to your cheekbones and make yourself look bronze. And I'm like, oh my God. You do the little smiley thing. And then immediately after putting it on, I bring it, I bring it up towards my uh what's this called sideburns i'm obsessed with this product and that's honestly all i do for my like foundation my face um especially because it's been getting warmer i kind of have like a natural highlight from my sweat uh so i don't really put on highlighter but if i do if i do i of course use glossier i use glossier halo scope this one this product is freaking amazing i love it so much it's just a stick and you basically let me show you what it looks like if you don't already own this product so kind of just blend her in can you see i don't know if you can really see my my wrist is like about to break <laughs> i'm actually gonna put on a little bit right now even though i'm like <laughs> i am sweating i can't film with my with my fan on so we just gotta you know we gotta do what we gotta do but Yes, we're gonna put a little bit on, not too much, and it gives like the most beautiful glow. I love this product so much. 
cream products are literally the way to go. They're so easy to blend and I feel like they look more natural because they kind of melt into the skin versus it being like a layer of powder on top. So pretty much I've abandoned most, almost if not all, uh, powder products. So I need to talk about this product because it is kind of random, especially where I got it You really wouldn't expect to get makeup from here, I guess, but I got this cream. It's basically a single eyeshadow and it is from and other stories and Sometimes I forget that they have makeup um, But they have really cute makeup and also like nail polishes and stuff, but I love this uh, single eyeshadow. It is so beautiful. It's basically like a shimmer. I think it's supposed to be, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be an eyeshadow topper, um, but I literally just use it on its own. I just use my hand, I take it, rub it, and then I just kind of pat it on to my eyelids. Can you see the sweat on my upper lip? That is nasty. And it gives this beautiful sheen. I don't make it perfect. I kind of just throw it on my eyes and I think it is so beautiful. I love it. If you don't like makeup, I feel like the epitome of makeup is eyeshadow, the ability to do beautiful eye looks. And if you're someone like me that's just not, that's not your forte, uh, I highly recommend these type of products. So these, I think, in my opinion, are the easiest way to do your eyeshadow, especially like, kind of like how I showed you, get products that are very easily applicated with your finger, or things that you can literally swipe on and just blend it out and you're done. Things like that are amazing. My very, very, very amateur basic brow routine is to first apply this type of product so it's so old that the like the cover literally wiped off you can't even see what kind of product it is but this is the brow brow whiz brow setter from benefit i'll put the name of the actual product on the screen so i love this product because even if you don't want to go in with a pencil afterwards just doing this on its own is literally so nice it gives you like that boy that boy beat type of look you know what i'm saying i usually like to have my eyebrows not too dark um i used to like back in middle school like when i didn't know what i was doing i still don't know what i'm doing but i especially didn't know what i was doing back then um i used to make my brows super super dark like almost black and it looked crazy uh, so I feel like going a little bit lighter, especially if you're brunette, is really nice. But I'm actually going to stop there for today in terms of my brows. I have been lately, just like with self-isolation and all that kind of stuff, I've only been using this product and honestly, I really like it. I think it's really natural, very beautiful. I honestly, I honestly don't have a favorite mascara, but the L'Oreal Lash Paradise I think that's what it's called it's really good love that one it's so affordable you can find it at the drugstore which is what I love um, but yes right now I'm actually using this kind of it's kind of a random one but I really like it it's from Maybelline Maybelline New York it is their full and soft mascara I really like this one because it is fairly natural it's not super it doesn't make your eyelashes look like super spidery and honestly I know a lot of people feel this way but I feel like mascara that's kind of dried out is better than like a fresh tube of mascara. So actually, what we're gonna do first is curl our lashes because I may be mad. At, I, I may be mad. Oh my god! I because I may be bad at makeup, but I know it really makes a difference when you curl your lashes. I'm gonna curl them up to Jesus. So we are gonna, okay, I really cannot see anything. <laughs> and it also helps to wiggle it. Oh my God, you see, I knew it was gonna happen. But yes, that is basically all I do. And if I do wanna go in with color, I sometimes will go in with this one I'm really obsessed with lately. It is by Fresh Beauty. I really like this one because it's actually a lip treatment. So, <laughs> I mean, Again, products that do more than one thing at once. Um, this is their Sugar Punch Lip Treatment. I am obsessed with this. It's so cute. It's super, just the color is just really nice and springy. I love it. Just a little bit. Just to have a little 
something. What'd you think? Um, let me know if you can relate to me and the fact that I just don't like spending so much time doing my makeup. I know there's girls that can spend hours. They just enjoy their makeup time is like their, their, their me time. They can just like relax. I just, I don't know. I feel like my me time is my bullet journal and working out. Those are like my true tried and true me times. Let me know if you use any of these products, if you have any recommendations. I don't know. Let me know. Let's chat. DM me. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye. Besos. I did it this time. I did it.